Bare kom ikke stykke fast. When everybody comes into the school site, um, conduct is, is fabulous um, and the students in math schools um, conduct themselves on the whole really, really well. When people come in is that the site is absolutely superb. Um, we try our best to keep it clean and tidy. Um, sometimes that's not entirely clear when you've got seagulls flying all over the place. Um, I think the students at math schools are so funny. Um, I think there's just every day is different. You don't know what you're walking into, you don't know what the class is going to be like, and that's what makes it so great. Eight. Yeah. Eight in your books, in your bags. Um, we're in an environment which is um, within the midst of lots of grammar schools, and we, we want to offer something that the grammar schools don't. Our students have a much wider range of requirements than perhaps. Um, other schools in the area and we want to make sure that our sixth form um, offers everything that our student needs. So from year seven up to eleven, what is it, what, what kind of student are we creating? Math Schools is a comprehensive secondary school located in the heart of Kent. It is a developing site which is looking for success. Maskells has become the stepping stone for many students starting school aged 11 and ending as mature, well-mannered adults at 18 years of age. Adam, aged 17, is coming to the end of his school life. He is a popular character among students in the sixth form. <laughs> Stefan, on the other hand, is Adam's closest friend, who's still waiting to mature. I've got my best mate in music with me, uh, Stefan. I've known him since like primary school, and uh, yeah, yeah, we were, we're kind of in a band together, that kind of thing. Psychology was so dark. Yeah, hang on a Yeah, yeah, um, he's a really good guitarist and drummer. He can do guitar and drums, and I sing a bit. Uh, he's taught me how to play the, uh, the the ukulele, which is cool. It's like a mini guitar. It's good. Just have it on the fifth fret, if you couldn't reach it. Yeah. If it's easier, use your no, pinky, just, but your like pinky's, yeah. Just play them too. A bit more pressure there, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Adam sometimes lets his feelings show at the wrong time. <laughs> Surely the school must help. I mean, there's learning sport here, they no. quite good facilities. They, yeah, they try, yeah, but they, there's too many people. They're just, they, it's like they're being bullied, it's like you're bullying you. Like, I can't go for help. Obviously, we've been through the whole system of referral. He has been excluded a number of times. Um, we've had to have parent meetings. We've had also outside agency involvement uh, with this pupil just to try and support and get him through. Uh, uh, the rehearsals were going all right. Like, that's, that's something really bad happened. <clears throat> have you learned the actual track? Yes. Yeah? So what, what, what is this? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's fine. Okay. You sure? Because it's not sounding fine. Go again? What? Do you want to go again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Two, three, four. It's three chords. How hard can it be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. It's three chords. Can you not count to three or something? Three chords. Dude, you said you learnt it. It's it's not. It's yeah, not I, really have, I, I have learnt it. So what's what's wrong with three chords? Just coming on your mind, all right? Just going. What's what's on your mind? Stefan, shut up. Get through. Shut up. What? Why, if there's why, a why, problem. You, if, why are you being a dickhead for, Stefan? If there's a problem, let's sort it why, out. Wait, yeah. one, two, three. Why? Why are you saying why I can't talk? Why are you saying stuff like that? Why are you being a dick? Ow. 
what causes do you think an actual disruptive student? Uh, so obviously any incidences that have happened at school or any peer situations. So again, I would involve the pastoral manager a lot of times. Uh, then we would have a meeting and we would look at certain triggers, sometimes bullying, sometimes peer pressure, sometimes just getting in with the wrong crowd. Uh, obviously a lot of the work that I do is also if they're having difficulties in their learning in some way or may even have a particular uh, special need that means that they think differently to other children anyway.